My name is Ian and welcome to Planting. In this video I'm going to talk to you about evicting plants from your yard that you don't want. It's very easy to buy more plants and put them in the environment that you've got when what you really should be doing is evicting plants that you don't want in your yard. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Three plants are going to be taken out of this pot. Let's go. comes to adding plants to your garden it's very easy to rush out buy some plants and put them in your yard thinking that you're all set but I want to encourage you to back up a minute you need to remove what you don't want either remove it completely or relocate it before you go out buying new plants and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video some plants are going so I've got more room for more plants first up is this hibiscus this is hibiscus Rosa del Rio. It's not the tropical hibiscus that we're familiar with. It's not the hardy hibiscus and it's not the perennial hibiscus. This has got uh, really nice uh, pink flowers that, I mean look at this, they really are beautiful and it puts out lots and lots of healthy growth. In fact we have a little flower right there. The problem for me is that these flowers last for just one day and that's just not enough return. And when the flower is over, it then hangs on the plant and looks unsightly. So although I like the flowers and I like the colour, it's not performing the way that I want. Now I've got this crammed in here. If it had a bit more space, I could prune it back, let it regrow again, and it might be possible. But in this location, it's just not working for me. So this plant is going to get dug up and removed. The next plant to get voted out of the garden is this tree dahlia, Dahlia imperialis double This grows 10 to 12 feet tall, has beautiful pink flowers, but they don't flower in time to get a nice show before we get the first frost. So although it's doing what it should do, it's not doing what I want in my climate. So that's the first strike against it. Next thing that I don't like is this long growth that it puts up. It's very susceptible to wind, and then it will blow over and snap. And that's exactly what it does. You can see I've got some bent branches here. And this is what's happened when the wind blows hard, you get a sudden gust, and the whole plant will just collapse. Now, you can stake it, and you can tie it, but it does look a little bit contorting. I like the tree dahlia. It grows very well. I just want it to have a more interesting flowering season earlier in the year. Now I am told that there's a summer flowering tree dahlia and there's even a white summer flowering tree dahlia. So if anybody has one out there that they'd like to send me some cuttings, I will gladly um, give you cuttings from my plants in exchange. So this plant's going to go. It means I've got more space for something else that can go in this very noticeable and prestigious location. It's a shame because I do like it, but if it's not working for you, it's time to get that plant out of there. So the next plant on the eviction list will make some of you happy, it might make a few of you sad. And it is in fact this wisteria. It's been one of my more popular videos. People want to know how to make it flower. This was bought as Black Dragon, which has a very unique flower shape and color. When it first set buds, I was excited, but when they opened, it was not Black Dragon. So rather than persevering with a plant that isn't quite what I want, I'm willingly going to sacrifice it, dig it up, remove it. And if I can find a true black dragon, that's what I want. And this is a point I want to make to you. If you have a yard and you want to make it look better, it's very tempting to add lots of plants, maybe a patio or a deck, and add to it. But first, you need to remove what you don't want. It may be a few trees, it may be a hedgerow, it may be a wisteria, so thank you for watching Planted. Uh, as ever, these videos are fun to make. Please send them to your friends, send them to your family. If you know anybody out there that wants to know more about plants and planting, this is the channel to come and watch. Thank you so much. Bye for now. I'm a big fan of figs, and I just thought I would throw in this little snippet of picking your own fresh ripe fig and eating it live on camera. So let's go.
I don't always peel them, but sometimes it makes them even tastier. Mm. Oh, that is so delicious. <laughs>